Hello, YouTube. I am Pinstar, and this is Planet Coaster, or Coaster Planet, Strategy and Tactics, Episode 5. So, off camera, I have tinkered with our hive wall here, and I actually made it its own blueprint with a nice, neat stack of two. I figure if we if we keep it, um, you know, normal, you know, between two at a time, then we can do circular transitions pretty effectively, actually. So we're going to plunk that bad boy down, and we've got a blueprint for more if we ever need it. Um, as far as other stuff goes, yeah, I think we only need the bathroom and the drink shops at the moment. Um, we'll let those settle into place for the moment. Uh, so yeah, let's start the scenery up. Challenge complete. Scenery to four. Oh, wow. That just cranked our scenery rating up nice and high. So yeah, these, these things are going to do wonders for our scenery rating, which is going to help the number of warm bodies coming into our park. But we're doing it for aesthetic reasons as well as gameplay reasons. So huzzah. Huh? Freaking za. Let me just make sure we haven't um, hit any head choppers. No head choppers. Excellent. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah, that extra that extra thousand bucks will certainly help us out. Uh, we already paid back our, our mega interest loan, which is good. Doing our dual researches here. This thing, yeah, we've cranked you up to paying it off at two thousand a pop. Um, so we'll, we'll pay this off pretty quickly, um, in two months to be exact. That is if we don't just pay it, hit the pay off now button. Uh, but, well, hang on, how are we, Q scenery 98%, I think if we do another hive, uh, tower, and just make it like this, you know, mesh it up. That will uh, that will help out the Q scenery to get that up to a hundred percent. Yes, it will, which might allow us to now maybe do seventeen bucks. Let's just check to make sure people are. There, he's a little bland. Let me just see here. Now you don't have enough money for the hive. Um. Well, there's the friendly ATM right there. See? They came to the park with 515 bucks. They spent it all. And now this massive group is hitting the ATM for... Boom! 285 more bucks that could eventually make their way into my pocket. Where are you going? Whirly Reg? You were just whining about... Uh, Oh yeah, um, you can charge for the use for um, um, uh, for your ATM. I don't like to because um, the way the game treats it is the um, they make the people pay the fee up front and then it gives them their money. So if you get someone who's spent their money down to pennies um, and you're charging like just a, a dollar, um, then why did you guys turn around, run out of money? Yeah, there's too many people in their group. They haven't hit the ATM though. Usually they hit the ATM at this point. But anyway, uh, we don't. We do not want to discourage people from using the ATM. So I'm okay at not uh, collecting the fees from the ATM um, because the the 50 bucks a month that that thing costs us to run uh, is worth it because people collect so much more money. Um, our bathroom, on the other hand, I'm more than happy to charge people for, and of course we are charging them for shakes. All right, back back to morning. I do know I'm a little bit lax with my uh, uh, with my light placement. Um, I will get to that. We're we're this is still a big work in progress. Um, now, one of the things I want to do here um, is well, let's just start walking our hive clusters all the way over here. Actually, if we make the angle a little bit shallower, we can more gradually transition the turn here and make it a little bit more organic looking. Uh, 
And again, we're, we want to keep it away from the... Uh, and then, yeah, going forward, we want it... Uh, and then, yeah, yeah, we'll stick to the angle snap for, for doing these hive walls. And yeah, I know this is this is hitting us for big cash. Um, but we don't have too much to spend it on at the moment. Let's check for head choppers. All right, good. No head choppers. Uh, let's check for. Yeah, see, look at that tra track scenery rating high. Um, so they uh, just they are they are liking this hive here. This is this is Boku scenery for them. Um, so that, that makes them happy. That makes me happy that they're happy. Um, and we keep this up. We can, we, I bet you, I bet you people are going to start saying this is a good value now that we have, uh, hit the max Q scenery rating and the ride scenery rating itself is high. I think we could probably get away with, um, say 20 bucks. Let's just confirm that. You have 52 cents. You're not going anywhere near that ride. You've got $4.89. You're not going anywhere near that ride. You've got 80 cents. You're not going anywhere near that ride. Go to the ATM. You, uh, all right. Why did you turn away? What? Why did you? Oh, because you're thirsty. I don't have enough cash to go on that hive. That seems to be a recurring theme here. All right, you guys are you guys just got into the park. You're flush with cash. Um, let's see if you make your way in. Why did you turn away? Oh, I bet you the uh, I'm going on the hive while the queue is short. All right, yeah, it looks like it's probably, they just don't want to queue too long for it. So they're not balking on the price, so I'll keep it at 20 bucks. Um, and we have a new research project ready to be revealed. Let's take a look. Suspend your disbelief. Bing! Insanity, the thrill ride. So yes, and actually let's start, uh, well, first off, let's start, since we're making dough like crazy, let's start another coaster, because this takes a long time. It takes three months to cook at the slowest speed, which I'm going to keep it at. So let's, let's let it cook at the slow speed, just so it'll be ready, maybe when we're ready for it. Um, the other thing we can start, let's do special effects. Do I want special effects? Yeah, I want special effects. We can afford it. Um, so this little gem is going to be what I put right here. I've kind of been saving this space for it. Um, so let's see here. Uh, not coasters, rides. Insanity. Now, Insanity by itself is a really good ride. It has, it is extremely, extremely high capacity. Um, you will not find a more, a better high capacity ride than Insanity here. Um, hang on, let me pause here while I'm getting this thing laid out. Uh, the, um, the problem with Insanity is that it is barfy. And by barfy, I mean it has a nausea rating to the extent where people, um, uh, going on it will come off and they will want to throw up. Um, there's just no getting around that. They're, they're, they're going to need to puke. Um, so you're either going to have a very busy handyman who actually, we never actually got around to hiring. We should do that right now. Let me do that before I forget about it. Cause then things will get bad. Um, or, sorry, janitor handyman's the, the mechanic. Um, yeah, a very busy janitor or we build our first aid that we have researched. Um, so I think what we're going to do is probably do the same thing with the, the little honeycomb with a slit opening so people can just wander in. That'll be our nectar depository. And we want it pretty close to the exit of this ride. 
Uh, so entrance we want on the side because that gives us closer to everybody. The exit we want close to the control tower. That's up nice here. Um, let's get our paths running. Um, you know what? We're going to stick with the cobblestone because this is... Um, this is going to be uh, uh, part of our outdoorsy parts. Oh, do we want the darker cobblestone? Oh, no. What was the cobblestones that I used for these? Small stones. Flagstones? No. I want those cobblestones, but they look a bit different than... You know what? Oh, that's the Q path. That's why. Derp. Um, so actually, you know what? No, we're gonna we'll do we'll do the uh, this path here. Well, no, that's gonna be more for you know, So you know, we'll just do the we'll do the gravel just to keep it plain and simple there, and then the Q path. The queue we're gonna change. We're gonna make a transition here. It's gonna start as an outdoorsy gravel path, but then it's gonna go through a honeycomb, and then that's gonna turn it into the uh, into the to that color queue. Um, and actually, the honeycomb itself um, is actually gonna cross right by here because this is gonna kind of be like the barrier. So actually, let's get let's break out some let's break out our honeycomb shape here so that we can plan accordingly. Uh, actually, let's do the tower here. Can we place this successfully, though? Uh, we will punch a hole through it. Insufficient funds. Oh, yeah. Oops. Well, uh, yeah, let's just start with the, uh, let's just start with the queue. And see if we can afford to uh, connect the queue. And this thing we're going to want to... Actually, hang on. We want it to go straight for a little bit. And then we want it to weave around. Much better. Okay, uh, this thing, we're going to start by charging 10 for it. Uh, we do want to customize the colors. Got the yellow, uh, black, black, yellow. Actually, those are some more supports. Those we're going to go with white. And then the green here, I think, will turn to black, yeah. Although, hmm. That do, that white does make... Yeah, that's yeah, that's unfortunate that the supports and the main structure is there. We'll keep it as white, and then we'll make... Um, we'll make this black as yellow. Although, hmm, now the arrows are... That whole thing makes it black. Actually, you know what? This will be white. And then this will be yellow and black. There, that's a good mixture. Um, now, here we're gonna get, we're gonna kick in some more music here. Um, and I have another custom music here that kind of fits our bee theme a little bit better. And that is Honeybee's Hive from Banjo, from the Banjo Tui soundtrack. Uh, those of you familiar with the game probably know exactly what the sound, the music sounds like, and it's flooding into your head as we speak. For those who've never here played the game, play it. Um, and, uh, the music is very fitting. Uh, and this is not insanity. Um, as far as the theming here, I mean, we're going to do more flower, um, uh, bushes here. So this is, uh, Nectar Patrol, because they're just flying around up and down trying to get some honey. 
So we will crank that thing open. Oops. And away we go. Now, yeah, we don't have the money to afford a, uh, um, a first aid place, but we do want to get working on it. Uh-oh. Light of the bumblebee. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I want to get our, our uh, mechanic um, trained up because he's got a lot to cover right now, and he's still just a trainee. Um, so we want to make sure that he, uh, oh man, that was a whole, that was a pretty big boat of people too. Uh, let's see, where are you, Mr. Mechanic? Mr. Mechanic, where far art thou? Wherefore art thou? Oh yeah, you know what? I just gotta use the park management to find him. Uh, mechanics. Let's train you. Oh, insufficient. Two ninety. All right. Yeah, I gotta wait for. I gotta wait till I make money back again. And unfortunately, that ride breaking down and everybody coming back out and getting refunds for for that uh, for their tickets. Um, kind of sapped my money a little bit, so I can't train him up just yet. Um, he's making his way, but he's kind of just slowly trundling. Um, oop, almost, almost at it. There it goes. And yeah, we got to pay him more. Usually the rule of thumb is 20 bucks um, more per level. This guy, this guy's important, so I want him, I want him nice and happy. It also increases their happiness better. And he'll work a bit faster. How's our shopkeep going? Shopkeep's not too busy, so I won't. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to uh, see. We only had a, a couple lost sales, but not not the end of the world. That, my friends, is Honeybee's Hive. Bzz, 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 bzz. And yeah, this is a massively high capacity ride, an insanely high capacity ride, but it's also a highly nauseating ride. So we're going to get a lot of pukey peeps. Um, so a first aid is absolutely crucial uh, once you get this specific ride up. Uh, before then, you can do without one because all of our other rides were pretty low on the on the puke factor. Uh, but this one, this one will churn their tummies. Uh, right then, let us, let's go to our, yeah, we're still sipping at the bottom here. And we don't want that running right through, uh, ooh, now here's a, here's a random thought. Well, no, we don't want them to, to have to walk too far. Um, we're going to make a part of the hive wall this way. Um, so let's actually just do it right here. Like literally right outside the... Because this will be part of a hive wall here. Actually, let's get a hive wall. Well, no, we're not going to have the cash for a hive wall. All right, well, we'll wait till we get the cash for a hive wall. Put a hive wall right here. Um, and then uh, make work our magic here. Although I hate doing without one. Because we're going to have some chunders from down under. Uh, what is sapping our funds so much? Well, we do have a lot in research. But now that Flight of the Bumblebee is back online, um, we will start getting some funding from that. And, uh... Yeah, we're still doing, we're still doing fine on here. So that's not our issue. Q, Q is quick, Q is quick. That means we're... 
That means we're we're good on that. I don't have enough money. Well, that's that's uh, that means the ride has done its job. <laughs> Uh, the other thing is that brand new rides will always um, draw people's attention. So whenever you place a brand new ride, it tends to distract people from your old standboy moneymakers, unless the new ride is a moneymaker. Um, but still, this one makes a decent amount. Um, don't have enough money, but the queue is quick. Um, yeah, I want to get that hive tower, because it's also going to crank up the scenery rating here. But we need like 500 bucks for that, so soon enough. And then we'll find a way to sort of like do a bridge hive tower here. Because this is going to be how the hive kind of gets in there. In fact, I might move the ATM. Um, just to sort of make the wall go this way. I mean, we'll keep the ATM, don't get me wrong. That thing's too valuable to, to be rid of. Um, I, I'd argue it's the lifeblood of this damn place. Um, but, um, yeah, we'll want to keep that in mind. Let's, uh, let's speed things up a little bit while we wait for our cash to recover here. Hopefully we're not getting waves o barf. Now you do want to prevent people from barfing for two reasons. Uh, one is that oh, I think we're good. Um, one is that um, obviously when somebody barfs, it counts as litter on the ground, and other people walking near it will have negative thoughts and make them less happy. The other reason is the person who is doing the barfing has a severe drop in happiness. They are going to be miserable. They may be tempted to leave the park uh, just because they feel so sick. Um, I mean, they can be cheered up if you can coax them onto another ride before they're uh, to restore their happiness, but they're not going to be happy campers. Um, so you want to probably, um, uh, the first aid helps get the barf out of their system without them, well, barfing. Or if they barf, it's in a controlled environment and they don't feel as bad about it. Um, so, yeah. Let's get our um, our uh, tower here. Um, we do want it facing like this. And again, I'm okay with head choppers. And actually, we do want this kind of parallel to this. Uh, do we want? Do we want this? No, we don't want it inside the hive. What we do want is this. Watch. Watch this. Obstructed. Now what we need to do is, uh, yeah, here. We'll place this. We will punch out um, these three tiles here. And then while we are at it, we'll uh, we'll uh, go to our shops and facilities, stick the first aid station in here. I think that lines up nicely. Let's check the back so we don't have a repeat of the same other problem. Perfect. Um, and then here we need to do a moot, a grand selection here. I hate that it goes that far there. That's better. All right, and then now that it's been added to a building grid, edit building, um, two, three, four, five, so like that. Um, duplicate and advanced move, I think, will be a better option for these. Uh, 
Uh, what? Uh. Oh, derp. But for once, the world axis is actually the poorer choice, and we want the relative axis. There we go. Perfect. All right, now save that. Um, if we tell you to move, there it goes. Now, if we have that little gap in um, in our half hive here, will it let will it play nice? Is the question. Because it would be really nice to have that play nice. Let's take a look, closer look down here. I think people, yeah, people can go under that archway. It's just a matter of angles. Yes! Beautiful. Now, can we place a path underneath this path? Because otherwise people can't get to it. Mm, I might move the top red the top path here. Yeah, let me do that. Just because it's important that this underlying path be possible. And I don't think there's any more graceful way to set it down. We could punch it through the hive here. But no, I think we're I think we're good. So we'll get started you started. No, what the heck are you doing, game? Oh, for Pete's sake, stop that. The game is getting confused as to what pathway I'm working on. All right, it's a little bit longer of an exit path than I'd like, but it allows us to have our our uh, entrance to the neck, the nectar depository. And yes, we will charge for the use of this thing, just to extract a little bit more out of our people, because it does have a monthly uh, maintenance. Oops. All right, good. The alternative is to make this go down here, which I might do. That might actually be a smarter idea. Because that's a lot shorter of a path. Let's let me try to do that. This just makes so much more sense. I'll keep the other one on board for the moment. Yeah, that's a lot better. Now it is a little bit further away from the originating one. And I'm going to have to get rid of those those uh, benches in midair. But I think that still it works better and it looks better. Once I move these benches. <laughs> Can't have those floating in the middle of nowhere. That's better. Uh, checking for head choppers. Crap! We, we have a head chopper. Where, where did we spike a head chopper? What, what head chop? Oh, good, no. That was just, a, a bumping into each other. Phew! 
because we do not want families to start avoiding this ride because then we lose our ability to extract large amounts of cash from families. Uh, how many, how are we on head choppers here? Yeah, we're still cranking up the head choppers. The fear's going higher, the excitement's going higher, the nausea's going higher, but not to extreme levels. I'm going to want to keep fear under six. I'm not going to go insane with head choppers here, but uh, we can go, we can keep going with it. And it's just increasing the scene, scenery bonuses and, and whatnot uh, for the rides around it. Like, how are we with our Q scenery here? Yeah, 100% with that, that hive tower here. Um, so we can, uh, we can pump you to maybe a 12 and see if uh, people are okay with that. Yep, they're okay with that. Yeah, because this is a quick queue. I mean, it ba the ride will basically take in everybody in one fell swoop. Research project ready to be revealed. Stirred with a spoon. The teacup ride. Yay! And um, special effects are almost done. We're going to start up on pirate theming in just a moment. Actually, well, now. Um, but I will stick around here for special effects to finish and see if we can't flip that to something else. Our, uh, our funds, I know it keeps, you know, dancing around zero and we keep running low, but trust me, it'll, uh, it'll be worth it. Um, and we'll be slowing down on the super expense stuff. And once we pay off our loan, uh, which we're doing at full speed here, um, many guests are hungry. Oh, yes. Start re Actually, you know what? I'm going to hold off on starting any kind of research. Um, and that way we can get money growth here and we can start feeding people. Because uh, that's kind of important. Um, so, let us... Let's get our... Um, our blueprints going here. I never did fix the shop one, but yeah, that's not going to work. Let's add to the building, building six. It copied everything, put that top panel. Great. Let's try that again. Um, that selects building six, and then that selects that as well. Add it to the building. There, that's that'll be easier. Oops. Uh, so now here, duplicate. Um, actually, before we just flat out duplicate, let's get a half uh, honeycomb in here for spacing reasons. All right, this will be a little crooked, but we're still going to be okay. All right, now we can duplicate this. And we have that. Well, I'll trim that in a moment. Yeah, I know I lost a hundred bucks on that transaction, but eh, the things I do for convenience. And we have enough to for the uh, chief beef here. Mm, and then we'll get no. Actually, that extra panel at the back there doesn't really matter because it kind of meshes. So we'll take that. Uh, and then for our path here, 
uh, gravel path and we do want to maintain the maximum width here. Uh, this isn't the end of the road, but we do want to make sure it's hooked up. Okay, that gives us our food. So that will solve the many guests are hungry dilemma we have here. Chief beef is so expensive, but I haven't even jacked the prices up yet, <laughs> um, which I'm about to do. Oh, you know what? Sometimes if somebody is out of money and they go to a store, they're going to say it's too expensive. Not because the prices are unreasonable, but because they are just broke. Um, actually, we're going to do you, we're going to jack you up to, well, $13.99 and you're going to be $9.99. Now, since we're cranking these up a bit more, um, we are good for uh, some ketchup, mustard, and cheese. Screw that lettuce. And, uh, yeah, you guys get, uh, yeah, you can get the whole boat. Um, and chief beef, no. How about beef? Beef! There. That'll get the kids going. And what's your problem? Uh, wait, I'm getting ripped off. Do you have cash? Nope, you don't have the cash. You don't have the cash. You have cash, and you're willing to pay the price, see? All these whiners, all these whiners about it being too expensive or just broke. They either need to hit the ATM or GTFO the park. Make room for more people. And now, um, yeah, with the first aid placed and... Uh, and the bathrooms and the drinks and the food, we're we're in a good place uh, as far as tending to everyone's needs. And yes, I know I just got those teacup rides. I'm actually kind of done ride-wise with our little bee sanctuary here. All that's really left is to finish the scenery of it, um, which is actually going to be in our next episode. Um, so in our next episode, we're going to finish out our scenery bits, uh, finish the hive, um, get things optimized a little bit more and, uh, sort of show you what I have in mind for the, uh, the next section. Cause as I mentioned, the entire park is not going to be bee themed. In fact, this, this right here, what you see right here is pretty much going to be the extent of the bee. I might squeeze in another ride right here. The teacups, by the way, too big for that area. Teacups is freaking huge uh, of a ride. So if I, down the line, if I research a, uh, a theme appropriate ride, um, wow, that was quick, Mr. Mechanic. Uh, if I research a theme appropriate ride, I will stick it right here. I mean, theme appropriate flat ride that's, that's uh, um, uh, able to fit there, that is. But otherwise... Um, this whole area is going to be, uh, all the rest of it's going to be scenery and theming. Uh, let's just one last check for head choppers. No head choppers. We are in a good place. Excellent. All right, guys, if you like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.